So in this short video, I'll be explaining why bumblebees are in decline in the UK and going through five significant reasons as to why that is. So in the UK, there are 27 known species of bumblebees and out of these 27, uh, two have gone extinct. These are Bombus calamanus and Bombus subterranus and these have really gone extinct in the last 100 years. So out of the 25 known species left, there are a few major significant reasons as to why these 25 species are in decline. Um, so number one, the most significant cause is to do with intensive farming. And after World War II, through the advent of fertilizers, farming practices changed to become more intensive. And so areas that weren't farmed before or previously used or thought of as available for farmland such as heathlands, ancient grasslands, uh, woodlands and even unimproved grasslands could all be changed to become intensively managed farmland through the advent of fertilizers. Um, so in the UK between 1932 and 1984 over 90% of the unimproved grasslands became farmlands. Um, so what is unimproved grassland and why is it so important to bumblebees? Well unimproved grassland constitutes a nutrient poor grassland that is species rich and consists of a plethora of wildflowers and these wildflowers are really important to bumblebees because they provide food through nectar and resources and these areas also provide uh, suitable nesting sites for bumblebees. So is it a case that bumblebees can't exist or coexist in intensively managed farmlands? Well no because in the UK there are a few subsidy schemes that are available that uh, promote wildflower seed beds, wildflower crop margins, uncropped margins and conservation headlands all to promote wildflower diversity. Whether or not these flowers are useful to bumblebees depends on whether they are flowers that are preferred by bumblebees and also whether they are flowers that haven't been degraded by pesticides and herbicides um, that are commonly used. This brings us on to the second most significant reason and this is through the usage of pesticides. Um, pesticides are known to produce um, a huge variety of symptoms to honeybees such as uh, vomiting, wing deformities and uncoordinated movements and recent studies have shown that bumblebees such as Bombus terrestris exhibit the same toxic effects as honeybees yet nationally in the UK crops such as oilseed rape are still sprayed with pyrethroid pesticides in the early mornings and in the late evenings in order to avoid exposure to honeybees but these times are exactly when bumblebees are most active and ready to forage and so pesticides really really may be a significant contributor to their decline. Now, the third reason is due to a loss of nest sites. Now for example species such as Bombus pasquarum prefer grassy tussocks which are again a predominant feature in ancient grasslands. Other species such as Bombus terrestris prefer abandoned rodent holes to nest in and so and these areas such as the Tesky grasslands and abandoned rodent holes are really a predominant feature of ancient grasslands and uh, unimproved grasslands and if these areas have been changed to intensively managed farmland then there are less available and suitable nesting sites. The other reason why nest sites are so important is because they are linked to other species so in intensively managed farmlands where there are less seeds, less weeds available and generally less food available for rodents their numbers also decline, meaning that the availability and suitability of abandoned rodent holes also becomes reduced. Now the fourth reason is to do with habitat fragmentation and population sizes. So where the landscape becomes unsuitable, the effective population size of bumblebees also becomes smaller. And so where you get smaller population sizes, the chances of a particular population becoming extinct becomes far, far greater. If there is an environmental change, in a particular isolated population, there are fewer available metapopulations in adjacent areas that can recolonize that extinct area and readjust that population size when an extinction event happens. Now, the fifth significant reason comes in the form of uh, non native bees and commercially available bumblebees. Now, commercial bees are really used in the UK uh, where crops are managed in greenhouses. There are a few commercially raised bumblebee species such as Bombus impatiens and Bombus occidentalis. These species are known to harbour a lot more parasites than our native wild 
bumblebees, there is really a risk of these commercially escaped bumblebees to pass on these parasitic infections to wild, wild bumblebees and really wipe them out that way. So that is also a significant contributor to their decline in the UK.